Good morning everyone. In the series of understanding what are factors and multiples, today we are going to solve questions based on how to find multiples of a given number and how to find common multiples of the given set of numbers. If you have any doubt regarding the understanding of what are factors and multiples and how to find them, you can go through the video related to the same which is given in the description. So let's start solving questions based on how to find multiples of a given number, how to find common multiples and least common multiples of the given set of numbers. So let's move on to solving questions. Question number one, answer the following questions. Part A, is 72 a multiple of 12? So children, if you know the table of 12, you can read the table of 12 and find out if 72 appears in the table of 12 or not. Otherwise, you can divide 72 by 12 and see what do you get in the remainder. So 12, 6 are 72. So 72 is fully and completely divisible by 12 and we get 0 in the remainder. It means 72 is a multiple of 12. This is correct. So we will write here yes. B and C also has to be done in the same way. So for part B, when you will divide 95 by 19, you will get 0 in the remainder. 19 fives are 95. So it means 95 is a multiple of 19. In part C, again we will divide 58 by 17 and we will see what do we get in the remainder. Now when you will divide 58 by 17, you will get 7 in the remainder. 17 threes are 51. When you will subtract 51 from 58, you will get 7 in the remainder. So since we have not got 0 in the remainder, it means 58 is not a multiple of 17. So here in the given blank, we will write no. Part D, is 13 a multiple of 52? Now a smaller number can never be a multiple of a bigger number. So we will write no in the given blank. Part E, is 0 a multiple of 6? So 6 zeros are 0. 0 is coming in the table of 6. So yes, 0 is a multiple of 6. Part F, is 8 a multiple of 0? No number other than 0 is a multiple of 0. When you will multiply 0 with any number, you will get 0 only. So 0 is the only multiple of 0. So we will write no in the given blank. Part G, is 136 a multiple of 136? So 136 into 1 is equal to 136. So you can say yes, 136 is a multiple of 136. Part H, is 1100 a multiple of 10? So yes, it is a multiple of 10 since it is having 0 in the end. Otherwise you can divide 1100 with 10 and see what do you get in the remainder. Since we get 0 in the remainder, it means 1100 is a multiple of 10. So we will write yes in the given blank. Question number 2, write the first 10 multiples of 9. So you have to read the table or you can say you have to write the table of 9 till 10 times 9 and whatever you get on the right hand side of the equal to that will be the multiple of 9. So 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81 and 90. These are the first 10 multiples of 9. Let's move on to question number 3. Write the first 9 multiples of 16. So similarly, we will write the table of 16 till 9 times 16. And whatever you get on the right hand side of the equal to, that will be your desired answer. So 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96, 112, 128 and 144 are the first 9 multiples of 16. Question number 4, write the first 7 multiples of 23. So similarly, you will write the table of 23 till 7 times 23. So 23, 46, 69, 92, 115, 138 and 161 are the first 7 multiples of 23. Question number 5. 
examine whether 591 is a multiple of 7 or not. So the procedure is same, you have to divide 591 by 7 and see what do you get in the remainder. So after dividing 591 by 7, we get 3 in the remainder. So since we have not got 0 in the remainder, it means 591 is not a multiple of 7. Question number 6. Show that 192 is a multiple of 6. Now again you will divide 192 by 6 and see what do you get in the remainder. So since we have got 0 in the remainder, it means 6 is a factor of 192. And so 192 is a multiple of 6. So in this way we have shown this. Question number 7. Show that 3016 is a multiple of 29. So again 3016 will be divided by 29 and since after dividing we have got 0 in the remainder it means 29 is a factor of 3016 and 3016 is a multiple of 29. Question number 8 show that 10968 is not a multiple of 54. So for this also the procedure is same you will divide 10968 by 54. Now after dividing, we have got 6 in the remainder. It means 54 is not a factor of 10,968 and 10,968 is not a multiple of 54. Let's move on to question number 9. Find the LCM of... Now this question has got 6 parts. So for each part, two set of numbers are given. We will write their multiples and... We will try to find at least two common multiples of each of the given numbers. So let's start with first part, part A, 4 and 6. So we will write the multiples of 4 and 6. And after writing the multiples of 4 and 6, we will get 12 and 24 as the first two common multiples. Out of which 12 is the least common multiple. It is the smallest one among 12 and 24. So 12 is the least common multiple or you can say LCM of 4 and 6. Question number B, 5 and 10. So after writing the multiples of 5 and 10, we will get 10, 20 and 30 as the first three common multiples of 5 and 10. And out of 10, 20 and 30, 10 is the least common multiple of 5 and 10. Let's move on to question number C, 8 and 12. After writing the multiples of 8 and 12, we will get 24 and 48 as the first two common multiples of 8 and 12, out of which 24 is the LCM or least common multiple of 8 and 12. Question number D, 6 and 9. After writing the multiples of 6 and 9, we will get 18 and 36 as the first two common multiples of 6 and 9, out of which 18 is the LCM of 6 and 9. Question number E, 3, 4 and 6. Now here 3 numbers are given. We have to write their multiples, find out their common multiples and out of which we will find the least common multiple or LCM. So after writing the multiples of 3, 4 and 6, we will get 12 and 24 as the first two common multiples of 3, 4 and 6. Out of which 12 is the LCM. Question number F, 10, 15 and 20. So after writing the multiples of 10, 15 and 20, we will get 60 and 120 as the first two common multiples of these three numbers. And out of these two common multiples, 60 is the LCM of 10, 15 and 20. So children, in this way we have solved all the questions of exercise 20 of factors and multiples. In case you still have any doubt regarding the understanding of any particular question or concept, please feel free to write the same in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All the best.